This photo illustrates the path of the belt. You can see where it passes the alternator, red arrow, the power steering pump, green arrow, and the AC compressor. Use this illustration when reinstalling the belt. You will need to remove the poly V or drive belt, red arrow, before replacing the tensioner. Please see our article and video on drive belt replacement for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. Lock the tensioner in the untensioned position by turning the 17 mm spud all the way counterclockwise and inserting a small 4 mm allen or drill bit into the locking hole as indicated by the red arrow. You're going to be working with e-torque bolts. Make sure you have the right socket and e-torque sockets. Do not try and remove the hardware with something else. With the tensioner locked in the open position, you can get access to the two E12 bolts, red arrows, that hold the tensioner in place. Use an E12 socket to remove the bolts and the tensioner. Before installing the new tensioner, give the area behind it a good cleaning. Here is a photo of the tensioner out of the vehicle. You can see the 17 mm spud for rotating the tensioner, red arrow, along with the locking pin, yellow arrow. You need to install the tensioner in the locked position. Remove the pin after you have installed the new belt. Installation is the reverse of removal. Take care to make sure the belt is properly seated on all pulleys and follows the right path as shown in the first slide of this video. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.